friends welcome to my channel I'm Arpita Karwa and in this video lecture I'm going to talk about how you can remember whatever you learn during your UGC NET English preparation guys when you start your course and you start preparing for UGC NET English you find that you come across so many writers so many works so many dates like there are writers whose works are very similar we have Edmund Spencer writing Astrophil we have Philip Sidney writing Astrophil and Stella so you need to remember that these are two separate works written by two different writers at the same time there are so many characters and there's this uh, work by Michael Prost who has written in search of lost time and that work has more than 2,000 characters so you'll find so many novels and so many plays having so many characters and you need to remember all those characters at the same time there are dates like English literature is flooded with dates you need to remember that also so during your preparation you sometimes struggle in remembering all those things and even after studying really hard and for long hours you end up getting frustrated and you end up feeling as if you will never be able to clear net exam so what helps is knowing how to study guys rote learning which is memorizing basically when you're looking at the page and you're memorizing that is called rote learning rote learning is not effective psychology says that if you use study techniques and different study methods you'll be able to retain more and you'll be able to retain them for a longer duration of time and also it will be very fun okay so you know rather than having that monotonous study drill in which you you know end up losing interest and you end up you know uh, checking your instagram just because you don't feel like reading the text anymore it's better that we use certain study techniques which will help us not only to retain better but also to remember things easily fast and to remember them for a longer period of time and also these activities are really fun filled so you will never get bored of your study routine so let's get started the first important thing that you can do in your study routine is creating an exposure effect if you have ever played the logo game game called logo game in which they'll give you half logos and you need to find out the company of which that logo is so if you have ever played that logo game you will find that you will be able to easily identify logos of companies that you encounter on a daily basis like mcdonald's we can see half logo of mcdonald's and we can easily figure out that it's mcdonald's why because of the exposure effect if you are exposed to a same thing repeatedly you will be able to retain it and you'll be able to remember it very easily okay and that is why you know in our childhood uh, you we used to write the tables two car table three car table and we used to paste it on the study table so that every time we sit to study we are able to get exposed to that tables and we are able to memorize them easily uh, I what I did during my preparation was that I used to have these sticky notes pasted all over my room and I used to keep on going through my room and I used to move from one corner to the other corner and keep on glancing at that sticky notes like I used uh, sticky notes for learning the movements and groups okay I used to have this table in which I used to divide them and uh, under different different years and then I used to remember the names of all the people associated to that literary movement the same thing I did for literary theories because for literary theory each theory we have so many writers associated to it so many theorists associated to it so what I did was that I used to have these charts pasted everywhere in my room and every day I used to look at those writers look at those uh, authors associated with that literary movement and that literary theory and I used to retain them for a longer period of time so that is one thing that you can use if you are preparing for net exam the second important thing that you can use is using study tools like I'll show you how I used to study I'll show you all my copies and my registers and how I used to make notes okay I've already talked about a video wherein I've talked about uh, the websites I referred to when I was preparing for net exam and in those websites I used to find certain things I used to write down in my registers and I used to prepare complete notes I've already made a video on websites I've made a video on how to make notes in this video I'm going to show you all my notebooks and I'll show you how I use different study tools these are like my notebook few of my notebooks okay so like this notebook is on paper one then we have this notebook on history of British literature from Victorian to postmodern then I have a notebook on European American Indian and post-colonial world literature basically then I have a notebook on uh, you know 
lectures then i have a notebook on theory and criticism so when you look at all these notebooks you will find that i have used these flags okay in order to divide them in the different chapters so that every time i have to revise i need to just open that particular chapter and i'll get the notes okay so these were the notes now you need to also understand that if you look at any of my notebooks i'll show you one for example if i go to victorian and postmodern you will find that i have used these sticky notes in order to write some important pointers so that when i just go through this page i'll be able to find the important pointers in the sticky note also i've used certain colors you can see that i've used yellow color in order to mark the author then i've used pink color in order to mark the work and then i've used green color in order to underline and mark the important things that i must remember and this is how i go about with my notes and this is how i've prepared like all my notes so you can also use such things it will make your notes beautiful you'll feel like studying them more organized you'll be able to locate like this is a chapter on modern writer i have marked it with uh, this flag called pink so i have these different markers then i used to you know uh, use certain bullet points in pencil i used to draw certain diagrams so that i can remember them so this is how i used to go about with my notes making and these are the study tools that i used there are other tools i use mind maps in order to make notes of uh, different different writers and different works so that i can just link them and then i can understand what uh, the story is saying also i use cue cards so cue cards help you to revise they are very portable so you can take it anywhere and then you can just keep on flipping it and you can revise things very easily so these were certain study tools that i used so you can use these study tools and then start your preparation you will definitely fall in love with learning now let's look at the third study technique that you can use and it is called rule of 50 10 now this is a rule based on a psychological principle which says that average attention span of a person is 50 minutes a person can keep himself or herself attracted to doing a task for not more than 50 minutes and after 50 minutes your brain gets drained out and it doesn't want to concentrate any further and that is why in schools we have periods of about 40 to 50 minutes and then we have next period so that a student gets a break from the uh, you know studies at the same time you must remember that there's a very famous saying which says that you need break before you break down so before you break down and you don't feel like studying it's good to have study breaks in between after every 50 minutes for 10 minutes you can schedule of task you can do something you can just go out and breathe fresh air you can go to washroom you can have some water you can just lie down and relax you can meditate so all these things will help you to distract from your studies so that after 50 minutes again after 10 minutes break you can again have a 50 minute session and you can again get attracted to studies so for that i always have this stretchly app on my uh, desktop basically i make all my notes now on my uh, desktop so i have this stretchly app stretchly app mein you can make changes in your study routine and after every 50 minutes it will make your screen blank so you cannot work on your desktop you have to stand up and you have to do something for next 5 minutes or 10 minutes and only after 10 minutes your desktop will open and the desktop window will open again so you can download this app it is a beautiful app it will help you to keep yourself motivated and you keep yourself distracted so that you are attracted again to your study routine fine now the fourth important point that i would like to mention here is that know your Uh, you know kind of study personality everybody is blessed with different kind of personality certain people remember more when they look at a thing they are they can remember more when they see a visual of certain things certain people can remember more when they say something aloud and certain people remember more when they write down that thing so that depends on the study personality now jitne bhi brilliant students hote hain on all the toppers they use all the three study methods in order to retain better the three study methods are visual audio and kinesthetic okay so there are people who are visual learners who have photographic memory like i am a visual learner i learn more when i see things okay so i'm a visual learner i get the pictures in my mind and whenever i see a movie or i see a video i'm able to retain better so i'm a visual learner 
for visual learners what you need to do is that you need to make your own notes because when you'll keep on looking at those notes you'll keep on exposing yourself to those notes you'll be able to retain better then the second category is audio learners audio learners are people who are able to understand things better when they listen to it okay and audio learners are also people who are able to you know learn better when they study in group or when they study by speaking aloud and they listen to their own voice the third kind of learners are kinesthetic learners kinesthetic learners learn more by practicing something i know it is laborious but then we can't help it certain people are kinesthetic learner they will only learn things when they write that thing down and then after writing it they will not forget it so it's better if you use all the three learning methodology audio visual and kinesthetic in order to learn if you remember during our childhood days we were forced to look at our study timetable or we were forced to look at the on the book uh, several times so that we can retain those pictures there were times when we were asked to speak loud like if you go to kindergarten schools you will find that you know in schools mein sabko bahut tez tez bulwaya jata hai okay say it loud a b c so that is because they want the students to get benefited from the audio learning style and then they are made to practice it again and again in order to retain better you need to use all the three techniques and that is why i started with the audio online course because i provide you with audios you are able to retain when you are listening to the audio then while you are listening to the audios you make your own pointers whatever i am saying those pointers will help you to look at your notes and then remember better and then if you want you can practice it by writing it again and again so you can use all the three uh, techniques and you can get benefit of all the three techniques so you should involve all the three learning methodologies in your learning schedule there are other learning techniques as well we need to know about how our mind retain things by using forgetting curve then there is a technique called association then there are other things like you need to keep a check on your diet you need to incorporate more proteins in order to retain better because literature may you'll come across so many things that you need to actually have a very strong brain in order to understand and retain all that information okay there's this famous saying that you know if i have to cut a tree i need to at least sharp my axe first so similarly it's important that you first work on your brain you make your brain strong you make your brain capable of retaining information and only then you can start learning and uh, revising so you need to keep a check on your diet also and there are so many other things i'll be talking about other learning methodologies in my next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because i post videos every saturday and every sunday for ugc net aspirants also do go to the social media platforms and subscribe to my social media courses because uh, i am running a free go net course on facebook whatsapp google plus uh, instagram you can go on these pages and you can like my page so that you are notified every time i post a go net quiz also if you have not visited my website do go and visit www.arpitakarwa.com you will find all the previous year papers on my website you will find all the important writers listed under the online course content you can have a look at the list of writers and then start your preparation accordingly so we'll meet in our next video lecture till the time happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com